Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Machining with Joe. So we're here in the brand new workshop today and we're going to be getting our first ever project done right now. So as hinted in the last video where I took you for a guided tour around the workshop, I want to get one of these chuck keys made up for the Harrison M300 lathe. Actually, let's head over there and I'll show you what the issue is. The issue that I'm facing then, ever since owning this M300 lathe, I never got the key to undo and do up the cam locks which hold the chucks on and since then I've been making do with a 3 8 extension bar on a T-handle and yeah it fits but it's not great, it's not really purposeful for a lathe of this size and this magnitude. So yeah it's not ideal using a 3 8 extension on a sort of T-bar, it's not machining is it, it's just taking a tool and making it fit. I want to make a purpose tool to fit that lathe. So by jumping onto CAD and exporting my drawings to my 3D printer, I managed to 3D print what I want to get made today. But it's going to be no good out of plastic. So that's where the really exciting stuff comes in. I managed to acquire some Damascus steel. Now, before a couple of months ago, I never really knew what Damascus steel was. I've been watching a lot of Alex steel videos and in there, pretty much everything he makes is made out of Damascus steel, just because it's so cool. I'm going to hopefully today get a chuck key made from Damascus steel. First procedure, what we're going to do, I think let's have a little look at the technical drawings, decide what things we need to get done on the lathe and on the mill, and go from there really. I want to try getting the whole thing done in today's video, so can't hang around. So before we start making any chips today, I just want to take a little look at this technical drawing I created because I've only got one billet of this Damascus steel for the body and for the handle and can't really afford to mess any of this up. So the procedures that we're going to be doing today are going to be fairly basic so this should go quite smoothly. Having a look at the 3D printed one here, we can see that the main body is 25mm diameter and that goes all the way up until about the halfway point where it then slowly tapers down at a 15 degree tapered angle until you get to the square drive end which locates into the spindle lock. So that should be quite an easy procedure to do on the lathe and then we're just going to have a few little bits to do on the mill to add the square feature and the cross drill to accept the handle. So I think that's enough looking at the Damascus steel for now. I think the next thing to do really is to chuck it up in the lathe and start turning it down. Start it up! start turning down our Damascus steel. So as you've just seen in that small montage I'm using the four jaw chuck and to keep good concentricity when flipping the part end to end I thought the four jaw chuck was the best guy to go to. Other than that this can be quite a basic turning down procedure. I've got some tail support in here just to start off with. Like I said I've never turned down Damascus steel so I don't know how this thing is going to machine. So it's going to be quite an interesting little operation to see how this goes.
Just planning my order of operations then. I've now done the front part on the chuck key where I've turned down the shoulder which we're going to mill later to be square and I've also turned down the taper. So now still having a cylindrical part on this chuck key allows me to flip this over, dial it back in and now we can come into the back end and drill for the M6 grub screw which will retain the handle and also put a nice chamfer on the back edge here. Once those few operations are all done, we'll be ready to head over to the mill. And that's where things start to get exciting because we can first have a look to see how this is gonna fit into this spindle. So let's get this done and then head over to the mill. operations on the lathe now completed for the main body of the chuck key I'm moving over to the mill to cross drill to accept the handle and also to machine in the square drive feature which we use to lock and unlock the cam feature on the lathe. I'm thinking before I bring up the dividing head and move the vise off the bed I thought now would be a good time actually to do the cross drill so originally I was going to cross drill this thing after but looking on it now I think it's going to be easier if I do it right now. So to begin with, I'm going to be using the Hamer gauge to basically find the centre line of this vice here because in here I've got some V blocks and my 25mm diameter piece of stock. So the centre line should be the centre line also of the chuck key. With that found, I can then edge find as well on the end of the stock to find where I'm going to be cross drilling this. To begin with then, I'm just going to do a small centre drill and go back and measure just to make sure everything looks okay. So yeah, happy that all looks pretty good. I can now start to drill this out. So I'm going to go all the way to an 11.8 before finishing off with a 12mm reamer. Right then, this is where things get a bit scary now. If I mess this operation up, this is a scrap part, and like I said at the beginning of the video, I've got no more Damascus, so I can't afford that to happen. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a light pass on each, go all the way around so I get the four sides on there, check it out, see how it looks, and then go in progressively deeper, doing cut by cut. I'm gonna be side milling this, just to relieve any stress risers that might occur at the base, and also I'm hoping it will blend in nicer with the tapered cut that we done earlier on in the video. So with that being said, it's time to start turning down.
god, that was nerve wracking. Nerve wracking, but well worth it because we got ourselves a square drive chuck key and fits in there so nice. Unbelievable. Just goes to show doing things on CAD, doing a drawing and then machining it, definitely a good way to go. So that's pretty much the chuck body all done now. That was definitely the hardest part and most complicated really of this build. It's not up there. Where is it at? So the last little bit I've got to do on this build is I've got this other Damascus bar, which is gonna be the chuck key handle. And at the minute, it's not going through there. The hole that we've done is 12 mil reamed and this is about 13 mil bar, I think. So what I plan to do it's going to be a quick, hopefully a quick operation. Turn this down on the lathe, once again using the four jaw chuck, and then going to try rounding off both the edges. I was going to make a form tool, but I'm going to skip that. I'm going to use my chamfer tool and then just finish it off with a file. And then we can get this thing in here and have a feel for how it's going to perform as such. That isn't the end of the story though, because once all that's done, we've dry fitted it, we know it's good. I need to sand it down, buff it, degrease it, and then hopefully the acid etch should be here in the post so we can crack on acid etching it and making it look beautiful once again. So, let's get on with this. Well, I've just got to say, I'm absolutely astounded with the way this thing has turned out. This chuck key, bearing in mind the concept started off as a 3D printed part and we now have a Damascus steel chuck key. It's absolutely amazing. So this isn't quite finished yet. I've still got to basically fine tune this with some sandpaper just to get the finish as nice as possible. And after that, I can then degrease this and dunk this into some etch to see how this finally turns out. So it's getting close to the end of the week and the etch still hasn't turned up. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today guys. Please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you want to see any more Damascus steel tools because I'm sure there's loads of tools in this workshop I could replace with Damascus steel. So the possibilities are endless. Other than that, thank you for watching this video today. Thank you for continuing to support the channel with all the changes that have been going on and see you in the next video guys.